This data set is for the loading the teapot dome uh, oil uh, reservoir in the state of Wyoming. Uh, this is a completely free um, new project that I put out here on, on the data set and I'm going to basically add in the things that are necessary to do the basic uh, uh, material coming in. Okay, we need to go up to File up here in the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to go to Project Setup, and then I'm going to go up to Project Settings. I click on it. I come down. The coordinate, the, or the, the uh, tab that we're most interested in are the coordinates and units. I'm going to select them here. And we're going to have uh, the what we think of as a, um, a map projection is called here a coordinate reference system CRS and there are a whole bunch of them so I'm going to go to select to determine the ones that we want I'm going to put this a little bit up I'm going to put it a little bit out and make a little more room for me so that I can see the names there are probably hundreds maybe thousands uh, of these that from which one can choose and most of them are not right or they're good for the thing that they're looking for but not just any old thing so what uh, what I will want to be doing is coming up there's a filter by string item here so that you can put in things that that look like they might be right so one of the things this data set needs is a uh, NAD 27 and I'll type that in I'm going to put a space in. I'm going to say Wyoming. And I know that this is in the east and the central part of Wyoming. It's their state plane system. And the number 5902 is also numbered to have this particular value. Now, if you look below, there were now only two of those remaining that fit these criteria. So we can look at either one of these. Uh, I could pick either of these two and everything would be fine. I'm going to collect or, or to, to click that one. We notice that it's in feet US, so we know that that's the kind of horizontal unit that we will be using. I'm going to come down to OK, and it's going to base, basically ask me whether they really want me to redefine this. I'm going to say OK. And if we look up here, it says unit system metric. In this case, we want to go to what's called the field uh, uh, method, which includes feet. And you'll note just down here, we have US feet, feet, feet squared, feet cubed, MS, which is um, uh, milliseconds, which is the seismic time that we carry things in here, and seismic velocity, feet per second. So this is, this is then giving us that coordinate reference system for our particular map. So I'm going to say OK. Now, this page doesn't look like it's any different as it was before, but it has that map projection built into it. The next thing that I want to do is to go to the import, import file, which is here. And in this case, I have looked. This is, a, this is uh, some, some data form, the TP8 the teapot dome uh, uh, area and the SGY which is based on SEGY or Society for Exploration Geophysicist standards is indicated here. This particular feature says funny words filt dot underscore mig dot SGY. Filt is refer referring to having used filtering before the data went into this processing and MIG to meet migrate, which is a process which is also used in this data set. So I'm going to select that. It's in the file name. Notice that I'm at the SegWi seismic data. It's good to, though to look at the fact that there are lots of other different kinds of data that information can be put into place. In our case, SegWi seismic data is what I want, but not everything will be that way. Okay, I'm going to click Open, and it comes up with information that it obtained from the input data, and also some other things, but I want to give it a name that's a little better than Filt MIG, so I'd like it to have uh, T-E-A-P-O-T, and then uh, then the underscore of filt and MIG. 
It's 3D seismic. It indicates that it's the default seismic uh, uh, color scale. It's elevation, meaning that it's in time reflecting from the sur surface rocks. Um, this is the coordinate uh, re reference system that you put in before is in this portion of it. And so at that point, I'm going to, because there's only one data set that's going in this at the moment, I will say OK. And the only place there was some action there is over here on the upper left-hand side. The features here are, this indicates that all of these things have to do with seismic information. And there are uh, places where it will hypothetically put seismic horizons and in interpretation folders in here, but they're all empty right now. The one thing that's available is the SegY data set, which is under Survey 1 Teapot Felt MIG, and it has an X line and an N line. Now, there's a very good reason to bring your data in this way, but to not worry about. Uh, we need to transfer it into a different, much easier to work with data set. So therefore, I'd like us to go to the area, the third up from the bottom, Teapot Filt MIG, and I have pressed the right button on the mouse, and I'm going down to a process called Realize. Realize is a kind of funny uh, number or name but it has the a characteristic of doing a number of good things for how seismic data are organized for this kind of project. So I'm going to go to Realize, and this comes aboard. And for the moment, there are a lot of things you can change about the data to make them better or worse for these characteristics. But for this purpose, let's simply do a realization for that. I'm going to hit the left button here, and I'm going to press it. Now, as we go move that over a little bit, I know that that's done what it needed to do here. So I'm going to get rid of that. Now, we have a peculiar thing here. We get, in in this case, in lines and X lines and Z lines, which are time, uh, time depth uh, sections or slices. But the thing is, until you have something in the window under Petrel, you don't really have anything that's going to put useful information come out of this. So I'm going to pull up under Window, pull it down, and I'm first going to obtain a 3D window. I'm also going to pull out an interpretation window, and I'm going to pull out a 2D window. This is kind of a custom, old pat, custom pat, pattern for me. And so now you see you have boxes here. Now, as I said, the group of the, the data at the top with the seg y, I just kind of put that out of the way and I use this realized data. So I'm going to move this out just a little bit. Now I want to go to a 3D window and I would like to put into the teapot area these data. So what we're looking at here now is a 3D um, data set that is what came out when we worked with this. Okay, so basically this is what you have as something you can do very effectively in this case. There, it is often to use this symbol up here of the hand, or the, and this, this particular feature um, is what we use to put a, a key down and it, it moves it around and you can see it. It also has a feature called the manipulate plane in blue here. When I collect that, then I can actually grab it and put these planes in different areas. So you can start to see interesting things that are going on. You come back to the hand, you can then look at the feature and see the things that are going on with the teapot dome. Um, so there are a variety of others. If you uh, want to look at them in particular ways, you can do that. Um, you can do uh, a lot of other stuff. So look at many of the features that are in this this set of, uh, of, uh, of buttons to push that you can come up with. Uh, interpretation is going to be a, I'll put it in the X line, and this corresponds to a seismic section. So it's actually a vertical uh, section. And this is probably the best one for doing uh, picking horizons and other features on the data set but you can go back and forth between the inline direction and the X-line correction. Um, 
In this particular case, Z doesn't do you any good because you're just looking at vertical things. Um, if we go over here to the 2D window, at this point, if we put Z in, you now have something like a map that you can look at, and it turns out the yellow line corresponds where the interpretation window is showing you where it is located. So this is, I'll kind of wrap this up at this point, but this is a, a really good way it's necessary for you to take raw data and put it into Petrel to be able to work with it. Thank you.